afternoon everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for a first 12.5.4.2 video. Guess I should enable it and <laughs> see how it goes. Um, this is just a small point release. It seems like uh, uh, actual spark summing is what got the update here. I've not made a video on that because again I'm bringing Onyx everywhere so I might eventually make it to a parking lot to uh, try that. We'll see. Um, hope everyone is having a fantastic time. Um, just, um, you know, just doing our salute drive today and uh, just kind of seeing how it works. I don't think we've done this since before the hurricane. So I never did this on 12.5.4.1, but, um, you know, uh, there's a chance the road could be blocked. It could, it could, you know, I, I don't know. A lot of my test routes have been messed up. So it's really hard to know until we actually go ahead and try it. So, you now if it is blocked, that gives us a good edge case. How does the car respond? Does it try and back up? It obviously won't be able to back up yet. Version 13, I think, is supposed to be coming out here in the next, very soon, next couple weeks. It's supposed to be in the, in, in the next couple days, but you know, let's be honest, it's probably gonna be a little bit late on that one. But um, yeah, I'd be happy if version 13 got out by end of year. But the reality is um, version well, um, what I want the most right now is highway stack in the end, which is 12.6 or 12.5.6. Um, I really think that would go a long way to improve the overall experience uh, because it's just there's now it's all these little issues on the highway that I think that would probably address. Version 13 does add reverse, which you know is really important. If you're trying to go into a parking lot in reverse or you get stuck in an obstacle and you need to figure out how to get out, that's going to add a lot of unique training data to, uh, to it. So we're going to see how it works. Let's see. I'm on the average setting just for those. Most of the time I use average. I've been using chill mode a little bit more recently just because, you know, I don't want the car over speeding or I don't want it changing lanes more so on the highway. But yeah, it's just... These type of roads, you're going two under, like a grandma driver or something. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, they got training data from a bunch of old people. Old people that you do tend to drive slower. And this this just seems to be um, how an older person would drive. We have a, if you heard, saw that message as saying the camera is occluded. Oh, we got a hard brake right there, phantom brake. Um, I did have a break for some brush on the side of the road uh, the other day. Uh, it, was, it was ever so slightly sticking out in the road and actually thought it was, I guess I must have thought it was in the road. So I had a hard break. Uh, one thing I want to note, uh, you will see a video coming out soon, maybe tomorrow, um, for a uh, solar generator. So I'm making some changes, gonna hope maybe make some different content on the channel than usual. Uh, and we're just gonna see how that works. Yeah, they've done a lot of cleanup recently. As you can see right here, there was a big tree that came down. Uh, and they've cleaned up a lot of this stuff already. Uh, they were down uh, by the county. Has had a big um, train truck, and, you know, picking up this debris and carrying it away. Looks like they either got a. I don't know if that was part of the storm, and they got a new driveway. A lot of places there was a big mudslide. You'll see that on the way back out of here. A big mudslide. But yeah, I wish I had that solar generator for the storm. Which is why I got it. Also, why the heck is it going 35 in a school zone? I know it's not, I know it's past the school hours at 625, but that is way too fast on this road. I didn't notice. Like, again, if I'm in the back seat and I'm on my phone and I'm not liable, most importantly, I am not liable. For a speeding, I, I mean, honestly, it's, it's going like an acceptably safe speed. There's no one around. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But as long as I, or you, the dr the person in the driver's seat, has to be liable for what the car does, then it shouldn't speed. It's really that simple. I really don't understand why there's such an argument about like, oh, the the, the auto speed need is just fine. I'm like, it's except it's not. Wow, there's a, this, they must have had a couple trees cut right here. Cause that's really open there now. Ooh, I bet this road almost got destroyed. 
It's so interesting because the, the area just has changed so much so quickly after this storm. It's just, why not the I forced the steering wheel? Um, oh, it moved my point to the end. It's not going to turn. Okay, let's see if I can get it to go back across the highway. Oh, it is going to turn. Uh, there we go. Okay, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Alright, no, no, come on. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm pressing the accelerator just because I, I had the person come out and look at me one day, <laughs> so I don't want to look like I'm some weird person, like, what? Oh, it's a deer right there. Watching them, uh, in their house or something uh but obviously that was caused due to incomplete navig like changing the navigation so it's not like it's actual prop proper intervention and necessary intervention it would have figured it out eventually but it's just for the sake of their privacy let's not sit around, uh, sit around their house like that so again this route's changed i think the reason i found out this does this I, it's not showing up right now but there is an unidirectional arrow um, so apparently the map data thinks this is a one-way road, which it is not. Oh, why are we stopping, car? There's, there's no one. That's, that's interesting. Because it, it like, I guess it thought someone was coming, but there was definitely no one coming. So I don't know. It's like this driveway got redone. It must have washed out a lot. It's doing well right here. Obviously, didn't go up that road. There's a huge uh, mudslide off to the right down there. Just a little bit down the road. Blocked the whole road. Okay, also, see? see, They added orange markers to the sign right here. Look, it's going to go out the 40. I'm disengaging, guys. Hard break. Okay, you're going 42 and a 20. That's 22 miles an hour over the speed limit. Absolutely unacceptable and not safe. That I'm not gonna settle on that. It's ridiculous, guys. It's it's it needs to read the speed limit size before it gets to the speed limit. I will not accept that, and no one here should. That truck just almost. Okay, that was really close. <laughs> yeah, no one should accept that. 20 it, like if. I mean, if you want to start a Rocco's ticket fund, oh, and well, the thing is, that would put points on my license or potentially get my license taken away and raise my insurance. So you would have to be giving me a lot of money to do that. So I don't know. Just like it's not not dealing with it, guys. Um, I really don't understand why that's even a debated topic. Twenty-two mile an hour over the speed limit's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. It should even it should be going below the speed that speed limit beforehand okay right here also we're in a school zone it keeps on going faster right here's a big mudslide like this is like max acceptable speed right here max acceptable speed in a school like I don't care if this is after hours they a lot of times will have school events and a lot of times there's still be a police car sitting here because even though it might be out of the school hours there might still be children playing around at the school hours or whatever else is going on. Again, it's just an unacceptable thing to be like speeding that much. I think that was the max acceptable speed. Look at this sign right here. This road is completely, um, I haven't actually gone down there, but I think it's washed away, like completely gone. So it's, it's currently closed, which is actually a big deal because a lot of times people use that road as a bypass if uh, I-26 gets backed up. Oh man, I'm sorry guys. I didn't realize my phone had turned sideways, so you're not even seeing anything I'm pointing at. I'm sorry everyone. Um, well, that's annoying. I need to tighten my, uh, I haven't made a video in a while, my thing's not tight. Anyways, well hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad. But, um, yeah, so it's just a lot of damage to the area. A lot of this area, anywhere near the Green River, I 
that took some drone footage. Um, the, where there were houses, there are no houses left. Um, again, along the river. So it's just, <laughs> it's if you've heard of Chimney Rock, North Carolina, if you're not from the area, Chimney Rock, North Carolina is very close to me. Uh, the Green River is very close to me, and that's where we do the crazy hill test at, which I'm going to try and do the crazy hill test. I don't know if I can, I'm going to do it during the week, if, uh, for sure on the weekend. We'll, we'll make it happen. We'll, get the, um, it, well, if the road is open. I know the road is drivable because there are trucks down there, um, and was, but uh, I don't know if I can make it all the way down. So we'll, we'll try it again. I tried it before, and unfortunately the road was closed, so I didn't make the video. But uh, we'll try again, see if, see if it's cleaned up now. It's just, um, that's, a uh, that river, man, just destroyed everything. Anything that was on the left side of the road, um, I'll link the, uh, country, um, backcountry road playlist, uh, below the like button, so we can see what, uh, police cars didn't hear. Well, um, below, uh, sorry, below the like button, yeah, I mean, anyway, so you can see what that used to look like in preparation for what it looks like now, and it's, it's, it will be unrecognizable, the, the actual, the bridge is out, so I can't even drive on that road if I wanted to, uh, but yeah, okay, everyone, that's gonna be in this video, unfortunately, the speed limit issue is really a major problem, hopefully it gets fixed in a future update, see you later.